in the heartland of nostalgia, where sepia tone memories blend with the echo of distant horse hooves, lies a television series that etched its mark into the tapestry of time, Gunsmoke. Picture yourself, a curious soul in a bygone era, sitting by the flickering light of your television, as the dusty streets of Dodge City materialize before your eyes. It's the year 1955, and a new world of frontier justice, rugged heroes, and untamed landscapes unfolds. Perhaps you recall that very first encounter, how the theme music swayed like a saloon door, ushering you into a realm where the Wild West was more than a setting. It was a character itself. In the twilight glow of those black and white episodes, the show painted its narratives with hues of morality, raw human conflict, and the undying pursuit of justice. Every showdown between Marshall Matt Dillon and the enigmatic outlaws resonated with a palpable tension, drawing you closer to the edge of your seat. And who could forget the bonds forged in the dusty streets, the camaraderie between Doc Adams, Miss Kitty, Festus, and Chester? Each episode was a canvas onto which unforgettable moments were painted. The laughter, the tears, and the stories that lingered long after the screen had dimmed. Now, as we journey back to that golden era of television, let's unveil some hidden gems that shiver like nuggets of wisdom from the Gunsmoke archives. These random facts, like the treasures of a long-lost chest, bring the past alive once more. From casting twists to behind-the-scenes anecdotes, these insights add new layers to the legends we've held dear. So, saddle up as we delve into the untold tales of Gunsmoke, a series that fired the imagination of a generation and left an indelible mark on the annals of entertainment history. John Wayne, the iconic Western film star, stood at the threshold of television fame when the opportunity to embody Marshall Matt Dillon in the 1955 TV series Gunsmoke came knocking. However, history took a different turn as Wayne declined the role preferring not to tether himself to the demands of a weekly television commitment. In an unexpected twist, it was Wayne himself who extended the mantle to his close confidant, James Arnes, vouching for Arnes' suitability for the part. This gesture was punctuated by Wayne's appearance in the pilot episode to provide an on-camera introduction, setting the stage for Arnes' resounding portrayal of the iconic lawman. The role of Matt Dillon could have taken another intriguing direction, with Denver Pyle and Raymond Burr also being considered. Denver Pyle, eventually a recurring face on the show as different characters across multiple seasons, lent his versatile talents to 14 episodes spanning seasons 2 through 18, adding unique dimensions to the evolving narrative. As the series galloped through its seasons, one character's fate etched its mark in the show's chronicles. Gary Buse's character, Harv Daly, clinched an eerie distinction. He became the last man to fall on Gunsmoke. The finale of an era marked by gunslinging drama, Daly's demise punctuated the end of an unforgettable chapter in television history. In the annals of entertainment lore, Gunsmoke remains a testament to the synergy of destiny, recommendation, and unfulfilled possibilities. The show's characters, brought to life by various actors' brushstrokes, collectively wove a narrative that captivated audiences, leaving an indelible imprint on the Western genre's landscape. Long-running classic, Gunsmoke rode high with consistency Gunsmoke, the iconic TV series that etched its place in American television history, maintained remarkable stability throughout its 20-year run on CBS. James Arnes and Milburn Stone stood as the backbone of the show, remaining the only two regulars to endure its full duration spanning 635 episodes. A testament to their commitment, the pair's dedication became evident in 1971 when Stone suffered a heart attack. In a fleeting departure from the norm, Pat Hingle slipped into the role of Dr. John Chapman for six episodes as Stone recuperated. This minor hiccup did little to hinder the enduring legacy of the show. The origins of Gunsmoke trace back to a radio series, demonstrating the creator's foresight in adapting to evolving media landscapes. Conceived by writer John Meston and producer Norman MacDonald, the radio version of Gunsmoke premiered on CBS in 1952, with the early television episodes drawing inspiration from Meston's radio scripts. A harmonious blend of storytelling prowess and consistent characters led the radio series through over 400 episodes, ultimately riding on airwaves until 1961. Interestingly, beyond American borders, the show embraced a different moniker. 
In Spanish-speaking countries, Gunsmoke became known as La Ley del Revolver, preserving its Western essence while crossing cultural boundaries. A nod to its universal appeal, this alternate title hinted at the show's ability to transcend linguistic confines. Gunsmoke, with its enduring presence, unwavering characters, and cross-media adaptability, remains a quintessential piece of television history that, like the gunfighters of its world, carved its mark with remarkable precision and James Arnett, from Battlefield to Marshall's badge in the annals of television history, few characters have left an indelible mark quite like Marshall Matt Dillon from the 1955 TV series Gunsmoke. Yet, the road to iconic stardom was fraught with uncertainty and sacrifice, a journey woven with threads of history and valor. As the dust of World War II settled, James Arness, the embodiment of Marshall Dillon, emerged as a resilient figure both on screen and off. Before his commanding presence graced the plains of Dodge City, Arness answered a different call of duty, receiving his draft notice in 1943. He underwent rigorous training at Camp Wheeler, Georgia, before venturing across oceans to North Africa. Assigned to the 3rd Infantry Division, Arnis found himself amidst the chaos of the Anzio invasion. Just ten days into the campaign, the sting of machine gun fire etched its mark, leaving him severely wounded. A piece of his foot was sacrificed, and a triumphant return to civilian life became inevitable. For his gallantry, Arnis was adorned with medals that reflected the fierce spirit he carried from the battlefield to Hollywood. The Bronze Star, Purple Heart, European African Middle Eastern Campaign Medal, World War II Victory Medal, and the Combat Infantryman Badge adorned his uniform, each emblem narrating tales of valor and resilience. But the gunshot echoes of his wartime sacrifice resonated far beyond the battlefield. On the Gunsmoke set, Arnis' footprints told a story of their own. Scenes requiring extensive walking were meticulously scheduled in the early morning, before his feet and knees voiced their discomfort. The decision to don the marshal's badge, though, was almost derailed by well-intentioned advice from industry insiders. Fearing that television's uncharted waters might capsize a budding movie career, caution was voiced against taking on the role of Matt Dillon. It was in the shadow of such uncertainty that Arnis found counsel from an unexpected source, the legendary John Wayne. In a candid conversation, Wayne's wisdom acted as the compass guiding Arnis' choice. He chose to step into Dylan's boots, embarking on a journey that would captivate generations. The advice would prove invaluable as Gunsmoke solidified its place in the pantheon of television history. As the chapters of Arnis' life unfold, his legacy as both a war hero and a marshal of the small screen continues to inspire. The grit of a soldier and the nobility of a lawman converged, leaving an enduring legacy etched in the fabric of American entertainment. Unveiling the untold stories of Gunsmoke, behind the scenes of a TV classic in the golden age of television, one series stood tall, captivating audiences with its rugged tales of the Old West. Gunsmoke, the iconic TV show that galloped onto screens in 1955 has a history as gripping as the stories it told. Amidst the tumbleweeds and gun smoke, the cast and crew wove a tale of resilience, ambition, and unexpected turns. Picture this, the year is 1975, and the news of Gunsmoke's cancellation spreads like wildfire across the entertainment industry. Yet, curiously, the show's own cast remained in the dark. Not a word was whispered to them about the end of their journey. Instead, they stumbled upon their fate in the unlikeliest of places, trade publications. Actors like James Arness and Amanda Blake discovered the abrupt conclusion of their characters' journeys through the very channels that reported the latest Hollywood happenings. The cast, who had brought the dusty streets of Dodge City to life, found themselves learning the fate of their own show alongside the general public. However, this was not the only twist of fate that Gunsmoke witnessed. Dennis Weaver, the man who immortalized the character Chester, took an audacious leap to secure his role. Feeling that his initial audition had fallen flat, Weaver threw caution to the wind. He pleaded for a second chance, a chance to embody Chester with a dash of authenticity. And so, he traded his earlier attempt for a performance infused with his signature country accent. The gamble paid off, and Chester became a beloved fixture of the show, a testament to the power of seizing opportunities. As the series unfolded, another poignant story unfolded behind the scenes. Glenn Strange, known for his portrayal of Sam the Bartender, left an indelible mark on Gunsmoke. 
Little did audiences know that this project would be his final cinematic endeavor. A bittersweet note to an illustrious career, Strange's portrayal added depth to the fictional town of Dodge City and further solidified his legacy. As an actor, Gunsmoke may have been a series set in the rugged terrain of the Wild West, but its backstage tales reveal a narrative equally as captivating. From the silent cancellation that caught its own cast off guard to the audacious audition that reshaped a character's destiny, the show's legacy is one of resilience and unpredictability. And as the dust settles on the stories of Dodge City, it's clear that the untold stories behind the cameras are just as captivating as the ones that graced our screens. As the dust settles on the trails of the past, the echoes of Gunsmoke still linger in the hearts of many. The yearning for tales of grit and honor, of lawmen and outlaws, remains etched in the minds of those who have journeyed through the Old West alongside Marshall Dillon and his stalwart companions. The crackling campfires and the endless expanse of prairie skies have become a backdrop to the memories we've woven with this classic series. But Gunsmoke is more than just a show, it's a bridge that connects generations. A bridge where families gathered around flickering screens, where discussions of morality and justice took place, and where characters became friends, and sometimes even foes. The series encapsulated the spirit of an era, reminding us of the complexities of life and the choices we all must make. Now, as the final curtain falls on this text, it's your turn to take the reins. Reflect upon the moments that tugged at your heartstrings, the lessons that found a home in your thoughts, and the characters who rode into your soul. What was it about Gunsmoke that captivated you? Was it the thunder of hooves or the silence before a showdown? Share your personal connection, your favorite memory, or the profound impact it left on your life. As we ride into the sunset of this narrative, I extend my gratitude for your time and curiosity. Your journey through the plains of Gunsmoke's legacy has been an enriching one, and your reflections will continue to keep the spirit of the Old West alive. So, partner, if you're willing, lay down your thoughts, your stories, and your emotions, for they are the echoes that will carry on through time.